Jermel Charlo versus Jason Banana Rosario. Who wins this fight? Knuckleheads, welcome to the prediction and welcome to the Fighters Rep where we give you free fights, interviews in the fight game, and fight commentary from the mind of a promoter slash attorney. You know, we talked about Jermel's fight in the last video. A lot of you left comments. Some of you wanted to know what I thought about Jermel's fight against Jason Rosario, the very tough, very gritty brawler out of the Dominican Republic who seized the WBA, the IBF, and the IBO middleweight titles from Julian J. Rock Williams back on January 18th, 2020. It's hard to believe that that fight happened this year with this crazy lockdown we've got going on, but a lot of you wanted to know what my thoughts were on this fight. I think this fight for me is a bit simpler to deal with than the Jermall versus Sergey Durovianchenko fight because you don't have two guys with high-level boxing technique on this one, in my opinion. In my opinion, Jermall Charlo is the obvious choice when it comes to technical boxing skills in this fight versus Jason Rosario. Jason Rosario to me is a banger. He's a brawler. He's a guy who comes forward. He tries to take your cookies. He gives you the banana split, hence the nickname banana. Actually, that's probably not what it is, but you know, typically the Dominicans, I know their nickname is Platano or Plantain, but this guy's banana. But I digress. This guy comes at you and he tries knocking you out. And he did that successfully against Julian Williams. But Julian Williams is not the caliber of fighter, boxer, or even physical specimen, if you ask me, that Jermel Charlo is. Um, We also got to look at the advantages here. Jermel Charlo has a three-inch reach advantage over Jason Rosario. He's five years older, but in a good way, in that he's 30 years old. Jason Rosario is still kind of a baby at 25 years old. Definitely will be physically strong, but they're about the same height. And again, Jason Rosario is at a reach advantage. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, and this is kind of where the age comes into play as well, is the experience, right? With age... As you guys can see, comes wisdom. And Jermel Charlo has more wisdom, more experience than Jason Banana. And the reason I say that is if, obviously, I mean, you go into their resumes and you look at the guys Jermel Charlo has fought. I mean, let's bring up his last six or seven fights. You know, you had Tony Harrison who's a fantastic fighter, in my opinion, one of my favorite fighters in boxing, to be honest with you, Jorge Cota, who he KO'd, Uh, Tony Harrison before that again, who he lost in a close decision, Austin Shrout, Erickson Lubin, who he finished in the first round, a very Erickson Lubin, a very impressive Erickson Lubin, who, you know, got by a very good Terrell Gachet last weekend. And before that, you know, Charles Hatley, Joaquim Alcine was in there, Vanez Martirosian. So, I mean, he's got Gabriel Rosado on his resume. So, Charlo has the much more developed resume when you compare it to the last few fights, or basically the the last, you know, five to ten fights of Rosario's career, which include Julian Williams, but they include a split decision win over Jorge Cota, who again got knocked out by Jermel Charlo. They include a Mark Anthony Hernandez, Juan Carlos Rodriguez, Jamonte Clark. I mean, these are people that you guys really haven't heard of, you know, unless you're a hardcore boxing fan. I mean, I'm not very familiar with these people. Um, definitely from the mainstream. I mean, if I've heard of any of these names, it's because I really closely follow combat sports. And the only reason I know Coda really is because. Uh, more than anything, is because Jermel Charlo knocked him out. So there's a tremendous gap in experience and in the quality of the opponents they fought. Again, there's a three-inch reach advantage 
a five-year age disadvantage, I would say, for Jason Rosario. Because again, at 30 years of age, man, Charlo's priming or, or headed towards the prime. Rosario's still a baby at 25. Um, he's lost before to a Nathaniel Gallimore. Mark Anthony Hernandez, uh, you know, fought him to a draw. I mean, Jermel Charlo only lost to Tony Harrison in a very good fight. And Tony Harrison is levels beyond the guys who, you know, handed Jason Rosario his loss and draw. So, I mean, I think that speaks again to the technique, to the skill, definitely being on Charlo's side. I'll also say this. While Jason Rosario's best attribute is his physicality, I believe that Jermel Charlo is also a very sturdy physical specimen. And so if that's what you bank on to win, being aggressive and being physical, and you're going up against a technician who's as big as you, with a longer reach, and also physically strong, I, I don't think it bodes well for Jason Rosario. So, you know, knuckleheads on this one, that's what I'm seeing. My prediction on this one is we get two Charlo wins on Saturday night and for dessert, a banana split. Uh, hopefully with, you know, peanuts and sprinkles and everything everything fun on top. Um, that's what I'm thinking on this one, Knuckleheads. I would love to hear your thoughts. Who do you think wins this fight, Rosario or Jermel Charlo? Now, Again, I give that prediction, and I want to say I do think Rosario obviously has a chance to win. Big puncher, very physical, comes forward. But I just don't see him getting the job done with uh, Jermel Charlo. I do think, excuse me, that the that the uh, Charlo versus Derevianchenko fight will be much closer, or should be much closer than this one, but who knows. Maybe we'll get a surprise in this one as well. Rosario is a very uh, physically strong specimen. Uh, physically strong specimen. And what I do know for sure is I think we're going to have a fantastic night of boxing on Saturday. These are two great fights. And we always get that in boxing. So knuckleheads, tell me what you think about this fight. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon below. Join Knucklehead Nation. If you haven't already, click the link below. Get your fighter's rep shirt. Tank top mask, hoodie, support the channel. You'll not only be helping me build this channel, you're helping me build the best kickboxing promotion around. We got five dates minimum for next year. We're going to be bringing you some sick fights. You can also watch our fights for free right now, all our past fights on YouTube on this channel. So Knuckleheads, thank you for your time. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. We'll talk soon.